I read the script and uh, I loved it. And I love Chris Maloney, even though I don't ever want him to know that or no one can tell him. And um, we, the part was interesting from the jump. Right away, I thought I could do something with this guy and I kind of understand him. Um, and then on top of it, Brian, who I'm such a huge fan of and have become an even bigger fan of since um, we started working together. So there's a lot of reasons why I took the role, but that's four of them. I had seen uh, the Crank movies, yes, and I remember when I first saw Crank, I thought, who the hell directed this? <laughs> he's crazy. And uh, then to get to meet him years later and work with him, he's just as crazy as I wanted him to be. And actually, I went and read some of Grant's um, when he did Batman Asylum, uh, just so I could get more of an idea of him. And the Joker in those are, he's unbelievable, because one of the ways he messes with Batman who there's, uh, he's sort of undefeatable, is he sort of grabs his ass a lot, and that makes Batman completely uncomfortable, and I thought that was genius. And that plays a little bit into what we do in this with Smoothie's relationship with Sax, about how he can win over, how he can one-up Sax, and he thinks of some ways. Um, so uh, there's nothing better than a villain. I mean, heroes are so boring. The overall attitude and the tone of the show, uh, I've sort of compared it to Pulp Fiction meets A Christmas Carol, or Sin City meets Alice in Wonderland. It's over the top, it's big, and yet it's grounded, it's emotional, it's fun, it's scary. It crosses all boundaries, and uh, it's unlike anything I've ever worked on or seen before. Uh, I've done stuff in this that I never thought I would do, uh, and Brian keeps writing crazier and crazier shit, and it gets weirder and weirder. An audience can really look forward to a roller coaster ride that doesn't let up for a second. I mean, you go up the hill, but that going up the hill is really quick, and then it's just like that and like that for eight episodes, and really, really doesn't let up. And I mean that, it doesn't let up for a second. By the time it's over, you're gonna be exhausted.